Hello, everybody. Hi. And welcome to Masks. Oh, boy. Um, this is Aegis Shield of Earth. Before we get started, I uh, have a couple of announcements. Uh, the first one being that we have a Patreon uh, that you can subscribe to to get all kinds of glimpses at cool things. I believe the Wardens of Whitechapel Session Zero stuff is up there now. Um, mm -hmm. It's a way for us to help us cover some of the costs uh, and hopefully give back to the TTRPG community and all that. So check that out. Um, I actually have... Oh, beat me to Nice, okay. the bot is working. Hey, we got bot. Yes. <laughs> uh, of course, we have a Discord as well where you can talk to lovely people about everything we're doing, which has been extremely... Extremely busy today. Yeah. With some some very weird chats, but it's eh. all fun. Goddamn candy corn pizza. <laughs> <laughs> You're always gonna be mad about that, aren't you? I am it was the day after my birthday. I'm going to be very mad about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just wanted to check. Um <laughs> We have some great sponsors, uh, Tabletop Loot for all your, your gaming needs. They have amazing dice. Uh, Devin Rue, the mistress of maps. And it's so nerdware. It's what the nudes wear. And you can get lots of uh, Welcome to the Party merch there. Dale Wood, Olio Mardrin shirts, and Crusade of Thorns, Mimic Knights. All the good stuff. don't think I'm forgetting anything this time. I mean, you can check out the Welcome no. to RPG, Welcome to Party RPG Twitter. We get all your announcements and everything on when we're going live, because there's a lot of games. So if you want to watch as many as possible, that's the best way to know. Other than that, real quick, we're going to go around and since we were discussing that none of us at the very least remember whether <laughs> what people's characters look like, start with Star Saber. Who are you? And who are you playing? What does your character look like? I'm Adam. I'm uh, playing Agent Roderick Wainwright uh, using the Brain playbook. And I haven't really thought about his physical description in a while, but honestly pretty average looking. He has uh, sort of powered braces on his legs because he's recovering from major injuries and he uses a powered suit that looks like, basically like if you crossed Iron Man armor with, a firefight with firefighter gear, more or less. Uh, Fox. Hey, uh, my name is Fox Barrett. Tonight I will be playing uh, Mallory Graves. Uh, she's the Doomed playbook. Um, she likes to use telekinesis and memory manipulation, and she punches real good. Um, she, uh, yeah, she doesn't have a cool robot armor. She's um, just kind of a scrawny uh, teenage kid. Uh, Recently, she has gained um, some some nice red irises to her eyes, which is, you know, it's it's a good look. It goes real well with her. Um, she, her, her hair is like black, but then it kind of becomes white below it. Most of the time, uh, you know, actually, what does our school uniform look like? Because I suspect a lot of the time she's probably having to wear that. Oh, put me on the spot. Yeah, um, yeah you're on the spot now. Oh, no. Yeah, he's, on the he, spot. he's said he's having trouble with Discord, might need to reconnect. Um, so he'll, he'll be back in a moment. Um, technical difficulties. School uniform. It's probably something that wouldn't draw attention. So, like dark colors, like maybe a navy and 
what goes good with navy gold um yeah possibly uh, it's hard to go wrong with white at that point yeah yeah so yeah it, it's not Just... a uniform meant to stand out so no sure okay so some pretty like prep school stuff so like blazer and tie crap all right um yeah so she probably has like a really disheveled uh version of that like yeah like if we wear ties she never has hers for example um and uh, tries to be as gothed out as possible. When we go into battle, though, she does get a nice big witch hat because she likes to lean into theme. Yeah, and when the school's logo is, it's just a black bar that says redacted. Uh, that's um, from <laughs> that's from, canon from now. Sonic, so, <laughs> thanks, Kevin. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's her. Wild. Who are you? Who are you playing, and what does Agent Johnson look like? Right. Yeah, so I am playing Agent Cliff Johnson. Mm -hmm. um, he is the nomad. Uh, that's uh, essentially he is a being a person from the way past. Like, what was that we were saying? Like nineteen twenties? I thought we were saying forties because he was analogous to um, like World War Two ish era. Yeah, that's what I so thought. 1940s um, African American who was a, a, a worse when he ended up uh, accidentally portaling into an alternate world. There. So, yeah. Okay, and last but not least, Michi. Uh, I am Michi. I am going to be playing Dreamcat tonight using the bowl playbook. Um, Dreamcat is she's a very small woman. Um, usually is wearing a black jacket and jeans. Or a black leather jacket, rather. Um, uh, with short hair. And just generally punk rock as hell all right so where are we so like mallory's favorite new person <laughs> like 100 percent. nice deeply envious <laughs> okay where we left, so where we left off um the, i believe mallory was leaving to go get cookies I was on a cookie mission. And for my roommate. Discord, what the hell? It, Discord, everything just this? blinked. Yep. Yeah, I've had that a couple times now. <sighs> Discord, please. Discord, why? Okay. Uh, it seems more or less stable now. Um, and then the alarms for the school went So, so what's your plan for for Agent Johnson, Agent Wainwright, and Agent Graves? Um, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying I'm having audio issues now. Yeah, no, Discord's being super, super funky. Like, it's not just you, I don't think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Such a dependable mm -hmm. piece of software. Well, if I remember right, at least some of us were in my uh, workshop, so my armor's right there. I'll start getting it on. Start putting it on. Okay. I mean, do we have, like, a person we report to when this, like, sort of thing happens? Or do we have, uh... like, a protocol, like, for this kind of thing um, where we have to go get orders or whatever? Yeah. I mean, you'd probably report to Barclay. As provisionary uh. agents, it'd be you would report to Barclay. Everybody else would probably have a, you know, rendezvous point they'd have to meet at. Or you could just do what Mallory does and go investigate <laughs> on your own. I mean, tempting, but all I have to go on is that there's a there's a the siren going off. So it's just like, oh, that's cool. I don't have to get cookies. 
Oh, I don't know where- I gotta go talk to that guy, though. Man. So... Actually, you know what, honestly, if, if y'all two are still at the lab, um, I probably, like, immediately turn around and head back that way and just, like, bang on the door frame. It's like, guys, 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 thing! <laughs> so, Let's go to the thing! Should we gonna go to Agent Barkley? Yeah, you should do that! Yeah. Yeah, I'll be along in just a second. I uh, just gotta get this... On quick, it sounds like with that alert, it sounds like you might need it. Yeah, you should go talk to the you should talk to the guy about the thing. I want to know what the thing. But I kind of don't want to talk to the guy. Uh, Join me. Oh no. Um... Oh no. Oh, Discord. Why? I am going. I don't think we got any of that, buddy. No. None of it came through. Things went so well yeah. with Zoom. I really I did. Can you still, is it still, how's that now? I can hear you fine now. Okay. See if it lasts. This connection is going in and out. I don't know why. <clears throat> All right, so um, Take two. I'll go to Agent Barkley and um, I guess I'll text you guys. I'll follow, but then like kind of hang outside the room. Yeah, and I'll. Sure. It'll be a couple minutes, but I'll catch up pretty quick. All right. I think Barkley hates me. I don't want to go in there. Okay, so when Aiden Johnson comes to the door, uh, Barkley goes, hey, "Johnson, good, you're here. I need you in the cafeteria now. Something just went." through the window. And now we'll cut to the cafeteria where Dream Cat just got thrown through a window by a giant robot. Okay. Well, that sucks. <laughs> um, yeah, you don't take any conditions from it. It's just the inciting incident of everything. Gotcha. You were in a cafeteria. From the outside, this building looks more like like a kind. It looks like a prep school. So you're, you know, you're, but it's pretty empty of students. Even for like a small prep school, like there's maybe a handful of students in the whole school. My Discord just blinked on me. Yeah, it's getting all of us yeah. at the same time. This whole yeah. Welcome to Monday nights, y'all. <laughs> where, where everything we do, and then Discord says no. Um, it's all right. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah. You got this. Momentum. Momentum. You got this. So yeah, it's just a small school. Like there, it should have more students, and there's maybe one student in the cafeteria right now. Huh. And as I recall, wasn't it uh, evening? Mm, yeah, I I'm think trying was, to remember. I think it, was... it can be. It doesn't really matter. Honestly. Yeah, I... it, it was. We'll, we'll say it was. It's probably about when most people would be heading to the cafeteria for like dinner. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was get, just getting a little mixed up, trying to catch up with where we were. Nope, that's fine. Last week, yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, giant robot. Yes. Um. What'd you do to piss off the giant robot? Um. Uh, <laughs> giant, giant robot, probably. Just, <laughs> it just wanted dinner. <laughs> yeah. Why is there a giant robot in our cafeteria? I mean, the giant robot's not in the cafeteria yet. It's out on the street. Or once, oh. Or, 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 yeah, so once yeah. Um, some of you get there, you'll know. But until a couple of you recognize the work, you're not going to know. But it was 
mm. minorly running around town causing damage, which is why Dreamcat was fighting it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a plan? No. No. So. <laughs> no. I mean, my my plan I is. Mean, there's a table or two around that you can throw out at if you want. Yeah, I was I was gonna say in in true Dreamcat fashion, we're gonna grab a table and start charging at the window. And there goes the school property. Uh, that nerd two two one. Thank you for the Thanks, raid. Steve. I thought it was a follow. It is a raid. Thank you very much. Thanks, theater nerd. Was that what it's supposed to say? Okay, yeah, well, thanks. Oh, I see it now, yeah. Yeah, based yeah, on okay. the yeah. avatar, yeah. probably. Okay. <laughs> we figured it out. Thank you, Theater Ned. Um <clears throat> Welcome, we're breaking things. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, um... Uh, directly engaged the... Hold on, what were you doing again? I got distracted. I'm sorry. I was grabbing a table and getting ready to head towards the window. Take the table and go hit the robot. Okay, yeah. That's so, what I'm good um, at. Yeah, directly engage with the table then. <laughs> oh no. Hang on one second. Roll 20 is also doing things at me. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> 20. Eventually. Stream. Friggin' Discord. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. It's great. Roll the thing. Please roll the thing. Why are you not doing the thing? Uh, you got the little pop-up box asking you for like a, hey, do you have a modifier? Cause... Yeah, and I hit that. Hmm. Okay, well... It just wants mm. to be slow. Hang on. Oh, there it hey! is. Hey! There we go. Let's Very get dangerous. Slow. Let's get table dangerous. Okay, so you can... You run up. You hit it with a table. Um, tables are wood. Robots are generally made of metal. The table shatters. <laughs> um, it does take a blow. And you get to choose to either resist or avoid their blows. You can try to take something from it. Create an opportunity for one of your allies that are on their way. Um, <laughs> impress, surprise, or frighten the opposition. It does appear to be a robot, so emotions not really in its wheelhouse. Not really a thing. Um, I think I'm gonna resist or avoid the blows. That seems the uh, most thematically appropriate. Yeah, that, that's a good choice because it rears back and it uh, attempts to kick you. So if you want to just roll out of the way, or it can hit you and you just don't take any damage. Either way. Um, probably gonna jump back onto the window ledge. Okay. Like, as it's kicking, jump away from it onto the ledge. Alright. That, that makes sense. Um, so if any of you want to join in, now's your chance. You can just come running in. You guys are the ones who can fly, so I figure you'd probably get there first. I could, I could fly on something, but like, sure, yeah. yeah, I will. I will happily make a dramatic uh, entrance unless you've got something, Johnson. I think you're muted, my dude. Yes, I was muted. Yeah. So I'm like, take I, two. I'm inside, so I don't really want to fly inside. Inside, if I don't have to. I didn't stop you at the casino. Oh, I had to. <laughs> Yeah. You I mean, super did not have to, but... You can go out of the building and then fly over there. But yeah, like, okay. however you want to make your way through the building. Yeah, yeah I'd probably yeah. run to the nearest exit and then 
fly over to it if I could. So anyone following? Uh, yeah, I would be yeah. like right behind you. Like as soon as you came yeah. out of his office, I'd be like right there with you. Right. So how how big is this robot? I think fifteen feet tall. Okay. So about three people. Great. <laughs> yeah, my EMP I used on the uh, last one isn't going to work on this on something this big. No, I was saying that <laughs> yeah. to the other yeah. guys. So, I mean, the first words out of my mouth are "Whoa, big robot!" <laughs> yeah. Is it still? Uh, does it still look like it's trying to break in, break through into the cafeteria building? Or yeah, um, okay. when you get there, uh, Wayne, right? You immediately yeah. know that who that fabricator built this robot. Uh, this is okay. Yeah, this is definitely a problem. Uh, can you guys try to distract it? I'll, I'll get close okay. to what I can do. And I uh, TK a table of my own since I've like well since we're throwing tables. <laughs> And I want to check out their table at this robot. And you're using your powers? Yeah, I'm you're going not to, running uh... up and doing it in its face. No, no, no. I'm not going to like thwack it with the table. Yeah, I'm so going to use my. Yeah, unleash your powers then. Okay, cool. Da, 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 da. Where did my character sheet go? Oh, no. Oh, no. Here we go. Unleash your powers is a thing you do with Freak. Boom. Seven. Eh. Let's see. Oh, geez. Reference sheet. There it is. Yeah. So, uh, market condition or. Hmm. Do I want a market condition right at the gate? Uh, yeah, because I'm not sure how a table is like temporary. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to mark afraid because robots are kind of scary. And this is this is a little weird. Haven't okay. fought a lot of robots yet, so. Well, not one that you knew was a robot at the time. I mean, fair. That is true. Yeah. Uh, I just thought he was a... I don't know. I thought he was cool. I was stoked to be fighting him. This is a yeah. robot, and things don't usually attack the school, so it's more kind of like a, whoa, I eat lunch in here. What the crap? <laughs> Fling the table at him. My mind. So. Somewhere Vasquez, Vasquez, is, or Velasquez is very uh, happy with this development because then he... They won't try to make you meet in the cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> can't, man. It's too dangerous yeah. in there. I'm, yeah. I'm going to try and start <clears throat> flying around the robot and I'm gonna assess the situation, see if I can figure something out about it. Okay. Uh, right. Eight. Okay. So that means you get to ask two questions, correct? Right. Uh, and I also get one of these questions. Um, let's see. Is there anything... What, what here would be handy to grab? Like, is there anything here I could use to uh, fight this thing? Um, and the other two questions I get would be... On a seven to nine, you get one question. Yeah, one question. I, I said two because I was factoring in okay. your automatic question. Um, okay, how could we best end this quickly? Okay, so what can you use against it? And, um, or so what can I use? What, how can I best end this quickly? And I sharpened eyes is what here would be handy to grab? Like, are there any items I can use against this thing around here? I mean, mashed potatoes, they're pretty tasty. <laughs> Tables, <laughs> table, like. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't had much luck with the tables so far. The robot doesn't seem impressed by our tables. Okay. Um, technically, there's... I'm trying to think. Um, I, I want to come up with something that really works here. So... Uh, how well, you we can... did... uh, I was going to say, we did just have something... Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> you go ahead. 
Yeah. Um, how you can put stand those quickly? Um, I think you might be able to short out the rope, short it out somehow. You're not one hundred percent sure, but it does look like there's a water tank truck, not like a fire department, but just like a water tank truck of some sort, not too far away that you could potentially do something with. Mm. And so it's just the t tables are easy to grab, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, the tables are right there. I mean, they're not doing a whole lot of damage, but they are doing damage. At least when thrown by people with super strength and telekinetic powers. <laughs> you said... Not on the road oh discord why yeah. Come on. you said it was the uh, water yes I am assuming you're asking about the water truck yes that I think I caught enough yeah. pieces to put it together <laughs> Boy. Okay, I think he's <laughs> nope. Okay. Uh, There's a group I like lead it out to the road if we can. Okay. Um let me check my reference sheet because I know. Okay, it's so if you act on that information, you get to add a plus one. I wanted to make sure if it was just a buff for you or for everyone. So when Agent Johnson, when you act on the information, mm -hmm. trying to get it out in the road or whatever, you will then have a plus one. Okay. okay. Uh, can I uh, see if I can uh, spot any access panels on the Robot, any way I could get to its internal stuff easily? Do you have a move that would allow you to do something like that? Well, right now I'm just sort of trying to assess the. I mean, I suppose it's moving, so that would probably make it a little more difficult, but yeah, just trying I... to assess the situation, see if I can. Yeah. I mean, mechanically, like. Assess the situation is weird. It doesn't... Like, for that specific thing... Kind of works. But not entirely. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not like a... It's not like a search roll in D&D, &D, you know? Okay. It's like yeah. a... Well, I mean, just seeing if I can spot anything that... any, Like I said, any... Yeah. I mean, I know you're... You're the yeah. brain playbook. So if you have some kind of super techie move that would allow you to uh, yeah yeah it doesn't quite match my uh, scientific insight but I can suppose I can you try uh, using the um, magnification settings in my helmet to uh, try getting a closer look at it as one of my gadgets there you go extend your senses that's unleash your powers okay Okay, and I can use superior for that since I'm using a gadget. Perfect. Okay. Nice. God damn. Yeah. Um, on the back of the robots, like robots don't really have a head and a neck unless you make them. But yeah. in, where you would generally see that there's a very very small access panel. Okay. Uh, can I tell uh, what here's in the greatest danger for my uh, extra question from getting full hit? Um, like, is there anything specific it's targeting, or is it just? I think you might be mixed up with a different move. Yeah, yeah, you're. you're... That was oh, unleash your powers. Yeah, unleash oh, your. Oh, I was okay. I, yeah, sorry, yeah. I was. Uh... Yeah, <clears throat> you, you're. Sorry, I was. To... 
That's right. Since I started out as saying it was an assessment situation, yeah. you guys said it would be uh, unleash yeah. my powers yeah. instead. So, hey, Malice, can you get me up to the head? Uh, okay, but you're not gonna like it. <laughs> um, and yeah, I, I kind of. Oh god, should I power up first? Eh, it'll be fine. I throw my hands out, point them at uh, my my good friend. Uh, Roderick, and uh, I'm gonna try and like fastball special him with my my friggin' telekinesis. And I'm gonna try to uh, well, assuming I end up close to it, I'm gonna try to like grab on. Yeah. So I will say yeah. um, the fictional reason why I always use something. Uh, oh, sorry. I should ask real quick. So is this should I roll unleash my powers? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, the fictional reason why I always use an object to float on rather than rolling myself is because I figure she's not. It's like really. I always imagined her telekinesis was very crude, so it's not like a graceful kind of like throwing around of objects. She just kind of like tumbles them through the air, and that's why she doesn't fly herself because she doesn't want to go yeah. ass over tea kettle. So yeah. good luck. <laughs> <laughs> so you're welcome to describe how that goes down, nerdy. <laughs> that's a that's pretty good. I didn't hear. Especially since you, you described it as very ungraceful. In oh, yeah. <laughs> very crude. Let me, let me look at my reference sheet here, because... Um... You know what? Ten plus, you get where you want to go, but you're going to slam into the robot. Yeah. So roll to take a powerful blow. Okay. Kind of thought that might have been where you were going with that one. I mean, you know. And yeah, I was originally oh. looking to see if there's, like, maybe just to have you roll to grab on, but that's not really something that's in there yeah. mechanically, so you can grab on, but you're going to slam hard into the robot. So. Okay. Uh, and I'll go with... Okay, it was an eight, so it was a hit. I'll go with... Uh, your opposition get you give ground. Your opposition gets an opportunity. Okay, so well, with can... that, then uh, you you land on the head really hard, yeah. and you're not ready for it. You grab on initially, but you woof, and you lose, and you start tumbling forward. So mark a condition for getting for getting at taking a hit, and then the robot itself is going to grab oh, I you. Oh, in addition to the yes, because uh, yes, you've, okay. you've given it an opportunity, so it's going yeah. to grab you and it is going to throw you against the wall, and somebody can take this opportunity to defend. In this case, uh, rescue him. You can kind of, you know, try to stop him from slamming into the wall. If yeah, you... uh, I will like jump over and try to grab him and absorb the blow against the wall. Okay, um, yeah, roll deep to defend, which is plus savior. Oh, this is not going to go well. It's going to be great. You got this. <laughs> cool leather jacket. <laughs> and I marked, <laughs> and I marked afraid for the condition there. That's fine. I had cat the captain move in my brain. I was like, oh, hey, can you do anything to help? And nobody's got that move so <laughs> yeah we, we could add a team but that ain't gonna do it that's gonna get you a six yeah so dream cat mark potential you almost get there like you like like the goalie diving for the ball and it just it just goes right past your fingertips <sighs> do you get i mean yeah you get a chance to i'm assuming take the blow yourself after someone tries to defend correct um, so usually, let's see, uh, they say what happens on it? Because usually on a miss, uh, for a defend, it's just you kind of get implicated in whatever the, the problem was. So something bad happens to them still, and it also happens to you as kind of the default. But, you know, Which, games Yeah, I'll, I'll, so something will, yeah. Uh, yeah, so Wainwright, take another hit. And Dreamcake, you missed, and you put yourself in a bad position. It is going to try to kick you, 
again, the chance is there for somebody to try to defend. Otherwise, Dreamcat will be rolling to take a powerful blow. I don't know. I feel like I got everybody into this mess. Uh, let's see. Um, that's what's kicking and flying around. Great. Great. I, don't, that... I don't think I'd try to defend yeah. at this point. I'd probably just try to get it to focus on me instead. I don't know if that counts as defending. Nah, uh, really. Yeah, honestly, I'm probably too busy whinging at the fact that I just threw my friend at the robot and then my the robot threw my friend back. So it's like, oh, wow, that is so on me. That is my bad. Sorry about that. Okay, so. Kind of situation. So. Okay, roll to take a powerful blow. We'll see how that ends. Okay, uh, nine. Oh, so, market no. condition for taking that hit. All right. I'm seven. Mark angry. All right. Angry. So yeah, I I took another hit and I just like okay, that didn't work. Could someone uh, could, uh Johnson, could you try something else? What are you trying to do? Okay. Hold on one um the, the you... lash out verbally. Oh, you're going to Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just Okay, so a teammate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're going to want to roll superior to provoke a teammate. Okay. And Dreamcat, you also get to choose one from the 7 to 9 list on the take the powerful blow. Do you have Do you have the reference sheet? Yes. Okay. Um... Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> I am going to mark, uh, I'm also going to mark a second condition, struggle past the pain, and then feeling guilty for the whole missing okay. thing. So, Star Saber, what do you yeah. want him to do, uh, Wainwright, what do, you, what do you want him to do with your provoke? Uh, I just like just I, I mean it's, it's kind of specific. You want him to do some sort of foolhardy action? I'd say just attack. Well, we haven't really had much time to try that, so just like try okay. to attack it rather than leading it wherever he was. Okay, planning so on to... if you do that, if you just straight up attack it. You will get to add a team point to the pool, which you already have three because you start out with one. You're in combat, so that's you got another two. So you can you can you'll get to add a. Wait a second, I'm confused. Both. Which means, uh, okay, so yeah, so um, basically, normally you only get to pick one of those two conditions. Oh, okay. For them to follow. In this case, both apply to uh, Johnson right now. Okay, so yeah. You you get to add a team point and you'll get to mark a condition. I'm assuming no matter what you choose. Is that uh, what it is? No, it's if 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 so. Um, for, for PCs only. For PCs on a ten plus. Right, she's confused about the fact that it's both. And mm. it, what it is is that normally when you roll, the person who makes a roll like Im imposes one of those two conditions. Mm -hmm. Either do it at a team, or if you don't do it, you're going to mark a condition. In this case, because you rolled so well, you're under both of those. You can right. do it at a team, or you can not do it in market condition. Okay, okay. That's that's where it is. Provoke is very weird on PCs, but yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so... Yeah, do if you do it, you get to add a team to the pool. If you don't... I mean, is, is there... Before actually doing anything, is there time for me to try to figure out what he's telling me to do, or...? Well, that's what he's telling you to do is basically he's like screaming at you like just shoot the damn thing essentially so yeah. you now have a choice do you do what he told you to because he's trying to provoke you or do you not and then do your own thing no i mean that's what i was planning on doing anyways but sure <laughs> so yeah i guess yeah. i am gonna start shooting at it um 
because I think it was, I was gonna yell at Winner. I was like, what were, you, what, were you, what were you trying to? Because I saw you being thrown up there. I don't know why. <laughs> well, now he's now that's what he's yelling at you. So that's what you got yeah. to work with. Yeah. Okay. He's he's a little busy. He's a little jarred. He's been thrown uh, through the air a couple of times. Uh, that's fine. I'm. Oh no. Oh, wait for Discord to catch up. I love Discord and I hate Discord. Discord is really good for what it was meant to do. And not so good at the video. Which isn't video. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully someday they will get the kinks out of it, but... Yeah. Wow, we all the way lost him this time, huh? Oh no. Just... Uh, oh. Oh. The slideshow's moving. Yeah, we got a different picture to look at. That's cool. <laughs> oh boy. And like half a word. <laughs> Welcome to the Discord stream where we curse about Discord and how much we hate it. Yes. Um. For Mondays, I'm gonna start in. I might end up just paying for Zoom myself. <laughs> that might just end up having to be a thing. <sighs> you can follow us at We Hate Discord. Subscribe <laughs> to our Patreon. Uh, oh no! Uh, and there he goes. He might, he might be trying to rejoin. Almost certainly, but. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got a couple of messages. Um. So. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Live demo. <laughs> While we wait, as he, as Agent Johnson gets ready to take some shots. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> Matt, Matt, you, <laughs> yeah, the defeated. I shouldn't, I shouldn't laugh, but um, <laughs> I feel you, homie. I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> I really do. Now, you see Anna, like, she's, like, kind of, you know, skirting really close, like, sneaking up on the robot from your left. Like, so she's, like, up against the building, trying to make sure she's not seen. Oh. Wainwright, you're going to take some shots at it. Or not Wainwright, Ted Johnson. Uh, you're going to take some shots at it. Do you do it from a distance, or do you do it from really close? Well. <laughs> we're crying out loud. Oh, we were, so, we were so close to greatness. We were this yeah. close. Well, we could be... Yeah. Try something real quick. My heart is breaking. Nope, yeah. that didn't help. Now we're on right now. Cycle of Doom. Well, maybe. Quick, whatever you're gonna do, say it. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, <Jesus. laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. You know, we're losing everything right now. Yeah. We're going to go to break. I'm going to try to figure out Discord. We'll be yep. right back.
that's close enough. Hi, we're back. Um, Hi, folks. We solved the problem with Discord by not using Discord. <laughs> Chunk that shit in a trash can. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Done with it. Perfect solution. I believe we were trying to figure out how you were shooting at the robot, Johnson. <laughs> That's all we wanted to do. Yeah. All right. So as I was saying, because I was because I initially wanted to distract it, I was super close. So at that point, I'd pretty much just be shooting it in the face. Okay. Um. So the reason thing is doing it close and doing it from far away changes it. If you're shooting at it far away, it's unleash your powers because you're just. You're not engaged with it. Mm -hmm. Unless I gave it rockets, which I didn't. Which I probably should have. That would have been cool. Um, but up close, it's directly engaged the threat. Right. <clears throat> One, two. Um, but basically, would you say that this uh, robot underestimates me? <laughs> I'll give it to you. <laughs> I'll give it to you with all the... <laughs> it's your bonus for, for, for all the Discord trouble. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, was a ten. <laughs> oh, um... Ten, yes. Ten. So you hit it. It starts smoking. It is what happens. Uh, so <clears throat> I guess make your choices. Mm -hmm. uh, you were directly engaging it, correct? Yes. Okay. So yeah, make your choices. Uh, you get two of them. Uh, so are you going to resist, avoid the blows, uh, take something from it, create an opportunity for one of your allies? Um, at this close, I would, uh, try to resist its blows and create an opportunity. Perfect. So, what happens is that you shoot it, and you blow a couple holes in it, which it explodes a little bit, which kind of blows back at you, but you get out of the way, and you've created a nice opportunity. See, when you were disappearing and coming back and... Um, I, I, uh, told Graves that, uh, Anna was sneaking up on the robot. At this point, a moving giant, not giant, but a moving puddle of water jumps into the robot. Oh, hell yeah. The whole thing just shorts out and dies. Hell yeah, Anna! I mean, there's a big hole in it now, too. So that wasn't good for it. And, I mean, once you're inside, I mean, water's generally not good for robots. So, right. <laughs> it dies. Um, and Anna pulls herself together beside it. And what's next? You've won. I immediately run up to give her a high five. Is okay. it still standing, or did it, uh, it fall? Fell. It falls. Okay, can I still get to that uh, access panel I spotted? Yes. Okay, I... However, uh, real quick, I know that Grace is trying to do something this time, and so you... Anna will high-five you. Yes. So, so we can do that team move. Uh, I will... I will allow oh. it. it. You know, I don't really care that it's supposed to be with your team. She's an ally. It works. I was wow. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just super stoked for her. She's like Anna, Anna, Anna. You just that was cool. See, I thought I thought you were going for that because I know you said you were trying to get it last time. Oh no! I mean, last time I super was because it was something I did. This is just something she did. So I was like, I mean, um, still triumphant <laughs> celebration. You're still. Sure. It it uh, does say when you share a triumphant celebration with someone. Give them influence over you. 
which I wanted to do anyway. That's perfect. I absolutely want to give my roommate uh, influence over me. Uh, and spend one team from the pool to clear one box of your doom track. Hmm. Okay. So, um, I lost track of how much team we even have. Uh, three. three or four, I think. Three? Okay, was it three? It so... was four. No, it's four. Well, well, then, in that case, now it's at three. And I'm slightly less doomed, because I'm super freaking stoked. Because my roommate is a, a badass! Anna, what is she? How did you become? That was so cool. I mean, it was just a robot. I've, I do that all the time. I give her a giant hug. <laughs> oh, thank and I'm you. Way stronger um, than she is, so it's just like pick her up, hug. By the way, you should know that you need an alarm clock. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I drop her. Wait, what did you do to my alarm clock? Whatever, I don't care. That was cool. Guys, did you see? And I turn around and I notice, like, um, Dreamcat's there, and it's like, I know you! Wait, hi! <laughs> hi. Ow. <laughs> this your robot? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, then I guess it's cool that we broke it, and I, like, just kind of kick it. I mean, that's what I was trying to do to it. <laughs> and I'd, I'd probably land at the front and be like, yeah. nice, Anna. Guess you train on your own. <laughs> yeah. So I go over to that, uh, I, for the moment, ignoring everyone else, I go over, open that panel. Is there like somewhere I could plug my tablet into it to try to get any information out of it? Nope. Uh, there, there's like several, almost like SD card slots with several of them in there, but they're like they're more high tech than SD cards, but similar yeah. concept. Okay, I just pull them all, I pull out as many as I can. <laughs> no my. Okay. All fingers are me. tough. It's a bit tough with the. Yeah. All but one of them is completely fried. Okay. Pull out the... Pull out that one and... Actually, I'll, I'll still grab the other one to see if I might be able to get any... Information off... Get any... Recover anything from them. Wait, yeah, you'll need an actual, like, computer computer to sit down and, and be able yeah, to do I, any of that? Yeah, I know. It won't, I won't be able to access any of it immediately, but just grab them all before before anyone else shows up. Uh, you know, I'm going to be nice. Starfish doesn't show up this time. Um, Good. I feel like somebody else would. Well... Uh, Trying to drum up some of my adult heroes in my head. Ooh, you know what? A good one that we've never actually met. He's only appeared once in on a billboard. A flaming, a literal flaming ball lands down next to you. Is everything all right here? You're like five minutes too late. Yeah, dude, check it out. Robots. Oh, um, I am glad to hear that. Uh, and he, like, rolls his shoulder a little bit and, like, returns to a normal person. <clears throat> um, He's a pretty popular hero. He's not the Starburst, but um, he's more internationally known. And uh, this is Proto Burner. Which he. I had him on a. I think it was a Nightmare Stallion billboard in the Christmas thing. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds vaguely familiar. Yeah. I mean. 
Proto Burners, slightly less of a douchebag than Star Burst, but I mean, he's still an adult. He's still an adult. <laughs> yeah. Don't trust those. And, I mean, yeah, like at that point, it's just like, yeah, no, like we got, we got it like handled, and, like like wrench up part of the leg. See, oh, it's all it's dead or whatever. So you can just, you can. The real heroes have already taken care of it. You can go. You're good. R real heroes. Yeah, us. <laughs> Grab uh, Anne again. Like, huh? You need a superhero name. You, he looks at him and he goes, you look familiar. Cas Cascade? I was just like, no, 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 you know, I was just like, it's, it's she's a little flustered. Because while well, some of you others have had several encounters now with, mm -hmm. they, she's not, she has not, so... She's a little flustered, and you just... <clears throat> well, <clears throat> well, I'm glad that you took care of this, but we're not generally in the habit of having children take care of <clears throat> problems within the city. So, next up, and he pulls out like a, it's like a fireproof pouch. And he pulls out a card, and he's like, so next time, you should call me. And he hands that very specifically to Graves. So Graves, do you accept his influence? He's basically telling you, you are not dangerous enough. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Wowzers. Which is funny, because I'm extremely dangerous, actually. Um... So, uh, no, um, Jesus, oh, oops, oh god, sorry, this friggin' window. <clears throat> um, I think my reaction to that is to, like, um, look at the little, the little card that he's got, and just kind of, like, look up at him, like, really? Yeah, you know, it's, I, I get that you don't have a lot of children fighting around here. It's a good thing no children beat up the robot. Um, no, I'm absolutely um, resisting his uh, do uh, rejecting his influence rather. So what do I have to roll for that? I was just looking at that. It just says roll flat two d six. Yeah, that's oh, what wow, it shows that... up as in the character sheet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it just says roll ah, reject something. Something. There's there's a button for it and everything, folks. I'm gonna click it <laughs> and see what happens. Boom! That's a 10. Get out of my face with this. Okay, so you reject his influence. You know just how dangerous are you get to choose two? I don't think we've had a successful reject. No. We did I have a have. Tr an attempt. Um, so you get to choose two. You get to you can either clear let's see, clear condition or mark potential by immediately acting to prove them wrong. Shift one label up and one label down your choice. Cancel their influence and take plus one forward against them. Well, uh, of the stuff here, I feel like, um, uh, you know, clearing a condition and shifting a label is probably where I want to go. So, um, so to start with, yeah, I'm gonna shift one uh, label up and one label down. So I'm gonna shift my freak up by one, and my mundane down by one. Oh, Mallory. <laughs> so you're going the exact opposite. I am not a normal kid. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not a normal kid. And um, let's see, uh, I can clear condition or mark potential by immediately acting to prove them wrong. How can I prove this guy wrong? Um, <clears throat> you really think? That we, and I kind of like stretch my arm out, my eyes do the little like red glowy flashy thing. I, oh, right, because my friggin' sunglasses. So I pull them down. Because, that's right, because I was looking over them at him. Like, really? And then I just kind of like put my hand out like this, like palm up. And I like grip it. And like the, the robot that is now inert, all of its limbs just kind of go 
like, as this thing starts to levitate. You really? You think I can't? You think? You think we can't handle ourselves? You really? You think that we need some help? Mm, we gotta call the, the big the big boys. Oh, you're gonna you gonna save pretty little on me. And I let it go to pound the floor. Really? <laughs> Thanks, but we're good. We're booked solid. Yeah, and I, I jump back as the <laughs> as I'm by the head of the <laughs> robot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm gonna mark potential for that. I like having angry marked. Or I, was, I had a frayed mark. That's right. Screw it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take afraid. Cause she's feeling pretty cocky right now. Take that proto burner. I don't care how famous you are. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Uh oh. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh oh. So, proto burner is talking to you. He's not paying attention. And you see it just a split second before it happens. And Aegis team comes around the corner. And a taser dart hits him in the neck. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh. And yeah. he goes down. Um, they immediately run over, clamp cuffs on him. <clears throat> Uh, the one of the men, and they're like clad in like special ops gear, right? Like, you know, they're an Aegis team because you're on Aegis property, but they don't have any markers, their faces are covered, and one of them just goes, You should return to your rooms. Oh, we were ordered here by uh, Agent Barkley to uh, deal with this situation. The problem's been dealt with. Now you should return to your rooms. But you got the wrong guy. The robot was the problem. What are you doing, you psycho? <laughs> the, ro <laughs> the robots! This guy's a freaking... He's Burner Man. He's, like, famous. <laughs> what are you doing? Does, does Dreamcat know anything about Aegis? <laughs> I mean, you know... You know what most people know? Um, that they are... They're like the mundane world's answer to the th whole power thing, right? Like, you know, because there, there's things that they think people shouldn't have. Magical artifacts, stuff like that. They are the answer for that. And when, so when Starburst brings somebody down, like Commandant Kill, Aegis is the one who arrests him, puts him in whatever supermax prison they have. <clears throat> that's, that's, you know, they're the ones who do the interrogations. That, but they're just like a big shadow organization. They have... Probably way too much power, but most of the public either doesn't care or doesn't know because there's also people who fly around and turn into balls of flame or are apparently some kind of comet or star. So, you know. <clears throat> but right now, they're assuming everybody here is a member of this school. Which Dreamcat is not, but they're just assuming. They these guys don't know who the students are or anything. Is, is the school affiliated with Aegis at all? Yes, the school yeah. is Aegis's cover for training children to be agents. And would we know that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. we. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. You you three know That's it, what... but Dreamcat does not. Yeah. That's why we're like agents and then last name because we're. Or sort of like the junior version of. I'm not questioning them at all. Then I'm just doing what they say. Okay, so so you immediately just start heading back in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I start um, going back in, but uh, well, depending on what else happens. <laughs> I strongly suspect I'm being dragged away by Anna as I'm screaming about them being fascists. I uh, that's a. Yeah, um, Anna will probably be trying to get you to go with 
Um, if you don't, they are definitely pointing weapons at you. No, oh, yeah, I... It's very reluctantly and very angrily, but... But yeah, allowing myself to be dragged off by Anna. Hold me back, but... Why do you, why do you stop holding me back? Hold me back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... These guys... Oh, if, if my roommate wasn't here, you'd be in trouble. Punch the space Nazi that one time, you guys are... You guys are dicks! <laughs> <laughs> um so dreamcat what do you do dreamcat is going to head inside the building good call rather than fight yeah, special no. ops yes okay um yeah like i guess at, at that point like i uh <laughs> I look at Agent Johnson and I'm just like, do you have any idea what the hell that was all about? They don't, like, does A just like just snatch up superheroes? I thought that dude was like a good guy. I mean, like an asshole because they're all assholes, but like a good guy. Well, he's not Aegis, right? Got sponsorship and shit. What the hell? So, he probably deserved it. Probably. I mean, it could be confusion, though. I imagine he's not going to be happy when he wakes up. I think probably deserved it what the hell i mean you just you, like you just for a reason right we're here to protect everyone you're a big fan of police officers too aren't you you just like they're very trustworthy in your mind like they never do any wrong that doesn't no, i didn't say that Okay, good because you have to understand sometimes people in authority are freaking psychopaths and like just dart people in the neck for no reason <laughs> yeah that was a bit of an overreaction but uh no i, I mean there are superiors at this point so <sighs> doesn't mean they're better than us okay so and it goes okay you, you know uh all of you just you should, you should just come back to my room. There's something I should show you. Okay. And then she calls Velasquez and tells him to meet you there. Do you all go? Should I stay in my suit or do I have time to swing by my workshop and uh, drop it off? There'd probably be more room in the dorm if you took off your suit, I suppose. Okay, yeah. And without mentioning to anyone that I had uh, pulled those memory cards, I uh, go to my workshop, take off, take off the suit, but keep the uh, memory cards with me, like slide them into a pocket, into one of my pockets when I take the armor off. Um, in a feeble yeah. attempt to help Dreamcat blend in, I uh, I take off my blazer and I, like offer it like. Hey, by the way, like, I are you like a student here? Cause like, um, you should definitely keep it on the down low if you're not. I mean, last we, in timelines wise, the last time we met Dreamcat, she was living in a junkyard with a bunch of other teenage superheroes. <laughs> yeah, and I was just making sure that that was like, is that still the canon we're rolling with then? That, I mean, it, Dreamcat doesn't have to be with that team anymore, but, I mean, more or less. Yeah. Okay. Then, then yes, I, I start kind of, like, offering you, like, here, you might want to, like, put this on or something, because, like, I, I don't know, you might, you know, the way you're, that's a cool jacket, but it might get you in trouble, is all, and, like, those guys are freaking psychos! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're a little bit psycho. She's gonna, like, take the jacket off and put the blazer on. Uh, if you need me to hold that, um, j uh, your, your coat, I can, I can, I can hold that for you if you need me to, or if it... Like, this is absolutely a ploy by Mallory to just get to touch that super cool leather jacket. <laughs> she is, like, her eyes are just locked on it. And you, it's, it's, like, not even subtle that she's, like, way into it. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I will hand the jacket over. Oh, 
Nice. Cool, cool. Super cool. Super. This is so cool. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> and Mallory's just like glowing. Like, not literally like she usually does, but just like. I think at one point I turned to Anna and she goes like, and I was like, do I have time to tell Agent Barclay that we completed our mission? Dude. I'm going to assume Barclay knows, but if you should just text him. Oh, I can do that? Sure, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later, later, later. Though, let's, let's, um, Anna, that seems real important. We should probably go right now, though, right? I immediately start texting this. Yeah, <laughs> as, you're, <laughs> as you're doing that, Anna looks at you, Grace, and says, if I tell him something he's not supposed to know, he's not going to run off to tell Barkley, is he? He is, like, immediately going to go tell Barkley everything that he sees and hears. He's basically a spy drone. I can't stop him. Um, so maybe I shouldn't have invited him. Yeah, it was actually a bad move. Um, uh, no offense, Cliff. Eh? <laughs> um... I feel like he should know, though. I mean, I could break his phone, but that'd be really shitty. I should have told you guys a long time ago. And I, I fling his life. phone out of his hand. Okay, so like, you, turn, of like... you could just turn his data off. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> and, like, you get him to the room now, and Velasquez will be there. And I catch up. What was that for? Uh, um, viruses. Did you know about computer viruses? Uh... You can transmit <laughs> viruses through computers, and your phone is basically a computer. Should I not? <laughs> Should you not what? Touching it then? Or, I mean... Oh yeah, definitely. That's why I um saved you from the deadly phone viruses <laughs> that are bad. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, we're gonna clean this up later, and like you'll get your phone back. It's gonna be perfect. But for now, I just figure like, see, that's why I like. That's why I use my little TK. Like, whoop, because like if I touched it myself, then I would have gotten a virus. I'm like, that'd be bad. But um, you're safe for now. We're just gonna leave your phone uh, wherever mm -hmm. it flew. We'll find it later. I'll like call it or whatever. It'll ring. It'll be yeah. fine. And then yeah. we're you're good. But but you're but good. You... You're good. And I come in towards the tail end of the conversation, and I like just <laughs> looking at Mal is like. Uh, what the? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Do phones have viruses? Uh, long story. Long story. <laughs> so anyway, and another thing. <laughs> Hold on. Give me one second. Sure. Uh, these are helping. Hold on. Okay, um, so she takes a <clears throat> laptop from Velasquez and, uh, or not a laptop, like a tablet, like mm -hmm. Surface or something, and like sets it up on like a desk or nightstand and pulls up a video. <clears throat> Let's see, so that's not helpful. One of these. Yeah, none of this is helpful. Okay, so I was trying to come up with a news station name real quick, and I was, I was like, I couldn't come up with one, so then I tried to find a generator for one, and that doesn't exist. It's, it's like, um, what's a pretty. Uh, this is Channel 7 action news with some breaking news the hero league starburst and nightmist have made an official report that heroes collision pinnacle and cyclonic are officially missing at this time we currently have no details as the league has only told us this much We'll keep you informed <clears throat> on whether or not 
this is villain related or if more heroes go missing more 11 and that's the end of the video and then uh she grabs the tablet and goes this one's i mean this tablet's not linked to the network or anything and they by my research those are only the beginning of i mean pinnacles missing <sighs> I'm trying to think of who else I had. I had a list at one point, and then now I don't have that list anymore. Uh, I'm looking back over the stuff. There was uh, Paladin because uh, in our sort of first mission stuff when we started, uh, we had worked with uh, Paladin's sidekick Squire, but were too reckless and scared them off. Oh, uh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Paladin is... is she, I, I mean, nobody's seen Paladin since squire disappeared and i mean all i mean there's more and these so they've only and i originally i thought the church of universal light was behind it but after what we just saw tonight yeah. i'm starting to think it just well, might be behind it Oh, could be both. We saw, we think we saw someone from the Church of Universal Light uh, when we delivered that prisoner to the other uh, Aegis site. I mean, that just means that they're working together. Um, yeah, yeah. No, I, I stick my head out in the hallway, make sure everybody's out there, and then, like, shut the door. Yeah. I, yeah, I actually uh, pull uh, pull a small gadget out of my pocket, and uh, can I scan see if there are any, just scan to see if there are any listening devices in the room? Ooh, good call. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, roll down, unleash your powers. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. All right, so. What's that gadget look like? Uh, it's like a little voice recorder type size one, so it's smaller than a phone, but... It doesn't get viruses. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> you start scanning, and um, you, you start checking all the usual places, um, you find, uh, in, like, the overhead light, there's one, uh, one of the lamps has one, uh, in the door next to the peephole, there's a small camera. Yeah, that's all you find. Um, okay. Since it's a full hit, can I jam them? Or basically keep them from recording any of the current? I mean, yeah, you could. I'm going to tell you that you scanned after the conversation. Jamming after them it now. Started. Yeah, oh, good point, good point. Jamming yeah. them now won't help you. However, you do know that... You probably have a couple of minutes before they kick down the door. Uh, yeah, they. Yeah, that's. Uh, sorry, I didn't do that sooner. They have. They know what we're talking about, or will as soon as someone reviews that. Uh, reviews the recordings they have of this room. Rec they're recording in here. Yeah, mostly audio, one camera. Oh, Where? Lord. Door. I, as, soon as, as soon as he points at it, my fist goes through that door. <laughs> Y'all, we gotta go. And now they're more likely to notice it sooner since... Uh, Y'all, we gotta go. Okay. 
Grab um, my broom, grab my hat. Y'all, we have to leave now. Cat is already like out the window. I am <laughs> right behind her. I'm following, but I'm like, uh, what's going on? I don't under I don't understand. Does does anybody grab Wainwright? Because Vlaskaz can't yeah. carry two people. Oh shit. Um Yep. I I'm I can't go out the window, but um Oh shit. Uh wait, 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 wait. Everybody stop. Wait, um and I hold up my cell phone and I just like like pointing at everybody. Like Yeah. Um you said it had viruses. Leave you leave yours where it is. <laughs> then then um yeah, you actually say that, and uh, yep. Anna grabs like a tub, like just like a plastic tub of pencils or something. Dumps them, put them in here. I toss my cell phone in. Yeah, Vlasius does the same. Yeah, and then she just oh. puts her hand in there, fills the tub with water, shorts all your phone nice. out. That's gonna be expensive to replace. Or actually, well, your phone's probably fine because you're not one of us little junior uh, psychos. <laughs> Would have been nice to have put together before it went in the tub. Listen, we don't have time for this. Everybody's in a hurry, and I just know cell phones are bad. They can track you. Someone will need to get me out of here. I don't want you to throw me again, especially since I'm not in my armor this time. Um, I, I, I can Cat carry you. It was my idea. It was my idea. You were, I understand. Not Cat this will just, like, heft him over one shoulder. <laughs> Jesus. That. I mean, I, I could fly with him if you prefer, but... I mean, if you want to, but... <laughs> and Velasquez has got Anna? Yeah, Velasquez will, will carry Anna. Cool. Then, yeah, it's just... I'm taking myself and my broom and getting the hell out of there. Okay. Um... Technically, the only one who can't fly is Dreamcat. But I mean, I think Dream can can handle it. I don't know. It has super strength. Maybe Dream she can. Well, we also don't have to like shoot something. off into the sky. Is the thing too? Yeah. Like, we, if we're trying to keep a low profile, like getting out of the building and then hoofing it is probably way smarter. Yeah, getting off campus and then hoofing it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Velasquez with his big wings might be a little harder, harder, easy to track. So. Me with my jetpack. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then yeah, like as soon as we're getting out of there, it's just like, okay, uh, uh, ideas. We need a place to. We got to get out away from. Somebody has a place like a lay low, right? Like. Oh, and it goes. Oh wait, I know, I know a place. I know a place. Okay. It, it, I mean, it's it's my sister's. It. Perfect. Yeah. And it probably won't be safe forever, but I mean, we could probably regroup there. Yeah. No, that's. Uh. We have that other uh, thing we could, people we could contact. Oh god, the people from the one shot? Oh, uh, no, the, um. Oh! Shit, I just threw away my cell phone. Uh, I super can't. <laughs> yeah. well, I actually super can't. <laughs> well, I was, <laughs> okay, well, we could figure something out after. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, can go, I can go grab my cell phone. Don't you fucking dare. Yeah. No. You might be able to find a pay phone. <laughs> oh, well, she probably wouldn't remember the number. <laughs> Put I have the a number yard. Yeah. <laughs> well, they'll... Well, let's just go somewhere, finish this conversation, see if we can find yeah. anything out and I still don't understand what's going on. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm going to explain everything once we get there. Adults suck. That's what's I, going on. <laughs> what she said. We don't know everything uh, yet. We have so We need to finish this conversation. But uh, put together... Oh, let's get somewhere safe first. Oh, shit. Uh, speaking of... Um, your disguise? Yeah, not a disguise anymore. Super bad. You want this back. And I shoved back the, the leather coat. Got, like, Wainwright on one shoulder and coat in one hand now. <laughs> well, once we get out on the, off campus, we can, I can, we can get yeah, we can down. Get, 
Yeah. We can get clothes. It's no problem. But. Uh, okay, so. Anything between here and wherever Anna's taking us? No. Um, so you get. To... The junkyard? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, as you, you go. She doesn't take you. To, like, a residential area or an apartment building she takes you to it's not it's not a warehouse but it's it's like something kind of similar and there's an apartment <laughs> huh. like a makeshift safe house apartment hidden in the <clears throat> top floor of this like I don't know old factory building or something Like the foreman's office converted into a... Yeah, exactly. Dang, Anna, your sister's cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this... If, if you're right about... I mean... So, do you have anything else or anything more specific because I mean we have those heroes that are missing we just saw Aegis shoot another hero uh, doesn't mean uh, so Cliff do you we're concerned that Aegis might be going after uh, heroes for some reason well we asked if we have a reason. Is there a good enough reason for well, doing that? The only like, one we know, we were told to go back to our rooms immediately when we asked them what was going on. And they didn't explain it to us at all. Well, yeah, those guys had guns, Cliff, and they were pointed our way. What about that Starburst guy? What about the fact that they had a fucking camera in my door? I <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't like people watching me while I sleep, you know? Especially not shadowy government organizations that like to taser people in the neck. No, something about this stinks. Yeah, the camera is bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, we don't have any real evidence of anything yet, but uh, the fact that we have all those disappearances and... So we can we look up when each of those other uh, heroes were last seen? Uh, or Anna, do you know? Since you guys have been, uh... yeah, Anna has all the information. She can okay, give it so... to you. So I mean, has this been just a recent thing, or like it's just started in the last day or two, or not in the last day or two? It's been going on for. Roughly three or four months, maybe six months. Yeah. So we've had heroes disappearing for several months, and uh, but it's just we're just hearing about it now. Well, I mean, the league doesn't want to look weak, you know, so they don't yeah. want to admit that heroes are missing. Of course not. That yeah, would be helpful. That People in their uh, usual areas would have noticed. But well, I mean, we, probably they clearly noticed. They're just too damn stupid or useless to do anything about it. Or just since they aren't, uh, since it's not making the news, people don't necessarily know how widespread of a problem it is. Oh, well. I mean, the only thing stupider than superheroes is the public, so. <laughs> is, there, is there a league for the superheroes? Yeah. Yeah, there's like a... Like, technically, Starburst is the head of that league currently. So why don't, why don't we go talk to them? Then? Uh, I don't think Mal uh, would be really happy about talking with Starburst at the moment, given what happened yesterday. 
Oh, okay, so you want, with you, you you guys want to take on Aegis by ourselves? Got a better <sighs> idea? Well, Talk to the Hero League. It might not be all of Aegis. I wouldn't bet on that for a damn minute. Uh, Frankly, as far as I'm concerned, they're guilty until proven innocent. I mean, how many people from Aegis have we actually interacted with outside? I mean, outside our immediate, like, Barkley and our teachers and... You've, you've been I mean, kept distinctly separate from other most most of the rest of Aegis. And we don't even know who we assume those guys are from Aegis and the cam and the recording stuff in the room kind of suspicious but doesn't mean I mean it could be just I mean it's not impossible like speaking speaking as a rational 30 something like yeah that's absolutely possible um but yeah Mallory is like utterly utterly convinced if if you're, yeah, you're your kinda... friend, like that's watching her sleep. She's done. Yeah, yeah and honestly, <laughs> Roderick's kind of grass, kind of on the back foot at this point. No, it's shocking for sure. And is is there a way we can go back and see? You know, since since they know that we're coming, see who actually showed up. If it's not Aegis, <sighs> that means it's not them. I mean, I got a better idea. So remember how I was talking about we should break into an H's facility and steal something? No, we're just gonna borrow it for a bit. Putting that to the side. <laughs> All right, brainwave. What if we break in and have you hack a bunch of stuff? We find out where the heroes are. We let them loose. And this whole thing comes crumbling down. Because maybe this is bigger than we can handle, but it ain't bigger than they can handle. I mean, they may be dumb, but, you know, they ain't weak. Uh, yeah. Need to... I mean, they're most likely not being kept at the school, and that's the... Pl well... I mean, yeah, they're definitely not being kept there in any capacity. Like, if anything, uh, does the, like... Does their version of, like, Marvel's Raft, does it have, like, a name or something that's, like, commonly known? That, like, that's where all the supervillains get kept or something. No. Is there a... Like, no, okay. they, they keep it pretty in in the secret of... Okay. You know, so that, you know, people don't go, oh, hey, that's where they keep all the supervillains and we can just break in there and... Smart. <laughs> so... Just... And then there's a chance that, for all the public knows, that they're all in separate black sites... Mm -hmm. or in several black sites type deal yeah give me a sec let me let me think about this I'm sure sure uh you all also notice that Anna looks kind of heartbroken because Mallory knows that she really 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 wanted to be an agent uh, oh yeah oh jeez uh, do you guys have anyone who knows about that uh what's going on uh, that's still in there, or is it just the two of you who made the connection? It, it's just the two of us. Yeah. I didn't know who to trust with it. I mean, I talked to Velasquez, but then you guys, I was gonna, I was gonna tell Grays, and then you guys got promoted, and I wasn't sure it was safe. No, hey, hey, honey, honey, it's, and I kind of go over to her, it's like, hey, you did, this is great. Thank you. Thank you for this. You, you're doing an awesome job. Honestly, bigger hero than any of those buttheads over at the school could be anyway. Um, yeah, um, oh, hold on. There's something. And she, like, there's, like, a painting, and she opens, you know, like, the painting, and there's, like, a safe, and she opens it and pulls out, like, a electronic device, and I, my sister left me a panic button, and she, you know, hits the button, and... It beeps a few uh, times. I don't know if we're... Uh, uh, Cliff, they'd probably be able to see your jetpack if you were using it around the base. Uh, 
Mallory, can you be uh, sneaky while you're flying? Uh, Wait, are we just going to go straight in? Or are we going to ask anyone for help? Uh, hey, Dreamcat, you in? No, no what? I... I asked for help. <laughs> yeah, I... Well, how about the people who kidnapped you? You seem to like them for some reason. That's that's complicated. Wait, can we uh, just Mallory, just a second, Mallory? Mm -hmm. Would you be able to like fly back over there without them noticing and maybe see, we, like try to follow if they take? Uh, I forget what. Uh, what yeah, it? I you, proto fire or whatever, uh, and follow. I could try, but I'm try to. I probably have like radar and shit, but I could try. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of bite my lip. Yeah, I could become invisible. That's a thing I could do. Yeah, I mean, two thoughts. One was that, and then try following them to where they take him. Two, what about where they had us take that prisoner a couple weeks ago? True, we do have that lead. Does anybody remember where the hell that was? Uh, it was by the or I assume we would probably. I remember it was on the other side of some rocket launchers. I remember that yeah. for sure. Yeah, it was. It was like, it looks like a paper mill, uh, and it was near the park. Yeah. Because I mean, maybe it's. Uh, I forget. We would probably wouldn't have the notes from those files from uh, when we broke into the cult place with us anymore. Oh, oh no, you don't have those. You... Yeah. <laughs> Mostly what we have on ourselves right now is like our gear and a yeah, lot of desperation. Even, and not even <laughs> most of mine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we but... could also softly retcon that you just didn't get out of your suit. No. Otherwise... No, well, because we know there was someone from the Church of Universal Light there. And I remember the notes said they were good at indoctrinating people. So maybe they've been trying to <laughs> get influence over ages. And that's what's going on here. Yeah, again, or they're the same organization. I mean, but either way, I think that's a good place to start for sure. Like that, they'll have to have information on what the hell's going on in some capacity, right? Like it's, it's a lead. Yeah, that's. <sighs> Best place I can think of, but going to all need to. Now, wait, are there any sidekicks of any of those heroes that have disappeared that we might be able to? Uh, not a lot of them had sidekicks. Not a lot yeah. of them were mentors. There might yeah. be a couple, but you're not sure if they're. Yeah, we wouldn't missing. necessarily be able to contact them. I'm just... Yeah, I mean, for sure you know that. Paladin and Squire are missing, so yeah. you might think that they took both. Right. I mean, if you're going to take one, you might want to take the other so that yeah, they can't be like, oh, hey, you know, they're just missing. Or stream of consciousness, kind of. Yeah, for sure. Like, I mean, it didn't work last time, but I could see if I can get someone else for, um from uh, one of my old teammates over here. Cliff, are you are you good with this? Hey, by the way, who took off their school clothes? Oh, shit. Um, actually, yeah. Good point. I would probably... Oh, God, would I even ask or would I just start raiding? I might just start raiding the nearest closet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can do that. They, I mean... There's a variety. It's a safe house for like for all of Paragon, more or less. I mean, so there's not a great selection, but you know, yeah, whatever's black and fits. Yeah, yeah, it works. yeah. And I probably wouldn't have had my school uniform on, just like the under, like the exercise type clothes to to wear under the uh, armor. Yeah, there's like a cutaway panel as we were like walking. Like as soon as I got that blazer back, it was like immediately into a dumpster. Yeah. Nope. Get rid of that thing. 
Cliff only wears his uniform for class, otherwise he's in a what it, a flight suit. Okay. So yeah, I just kind of <laughs> sorry, Anna borrowed a sweater. And like I'm wearing like it's like not even a sweater, and it's also like a pair of pants. <laughs> okay. I'll just go here. <laughs> Did you do you make sure that Anna gets rid of her school blazer and stuff as well? Um yeah, like, I, I would comment to that's like, you probably want to ixnay on the insignia, yay. Okay. Redacted. <laughs> Dax redaction. Strike it right out. Stop that. <laughs> no, my cat, I do what I want. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, I kind of, like, fix Cliff with, like, hey, are you, are you good with with what's happening here, like, are we gonna have... Are we gonna have trouble? Basically insinuating, she's trying to figure out, like, are you about to go, like, run off and, and be like, talk to what was now perceived as our enemy? I... I just don't... At this point, like... Something's obviously going on. Um... I mean... I won't talk to Barclay about this, but I feel we should talk to somebody. At the, at the very least, it should be more than just us. Yeah, and you trust anybody that much? Not necessarily about trust as much as just backup. Yeah, but when the chain of command is corrupt... Right, I'm just, I'm just saying we don't have to go to Aegis, but... You know, go to the people who are having the same issues? Any of my enemy? I mean, it's not the worst idea. Well, I just had another bad thought. Hmm. How do we know that the heroes who are still around haven't been influenced in some way, too? I suppose it depends on whether or not they've got a dart in their neck. <laughs> but he's right. Truth be told, I don't trust nobody. Right. Look, you've fought in a war before. Did you ever have to worry about uh, infiltrators, spies from the other side? I would assume so. Sure, yeah. but usually you would just, once we found them out, you know, they'd be sent off for questioning. Well, I'll put it this way, Cliff. If you got somebody you think you can talk to, I'm I'm happy to hear a, a name, but um, then I'll be like, okay, let me try this, and I am going to call the cavalry. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> this could go very bad. Oh boy. Hey, that's a hit. It's a partial success, but it's still a hit. Okay. Yeah. What oh, happens on a partial success? Possibly use a team point for this. Uh. Does that mean is there any way we can help you? I mean, we can get a full hit. I. Uh, yeah. I mean, it, yeah, you would have. have they'd have to be able to help you somewhere. I feel like Wayne would probably be, be the only one to be able to help. I mean. Yeah, actually, we might could probably boost the signal or something. Sure you want me to after uh, what happened the last time I uh, did anything with did something with your tech? Well, you said that you want someone I can trust, right? Plus, it took like a week to, for that gun to blow up. It's fine. Okay, if you if you trust me to to do it all. Just remember, I have the insecure condition at the, at the moment, uh, too. And you don't have to roll. You're just yeah. helping. Yeah, no, so. I'm saying that from a character perspective. That's why I would. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's a full hit. What happens on yeah. when it's a full hit, then? Right. So on a full hit, um, let's see. For this one, it's... This one, the... When you call the allies, you may dispel this world, ask them for help. 
happens if you're on a hit, someone shows up to lend you a hand. That's all it says. Yeah. Someone. It doesn't necessarily... Not necessarily the person I'm looking for, but definitely someone. someone. Okay, um, that's perfect. Um, so... <clears throat> You you make your call. You put out your signal, um, and then a few things happen. And it, oh, I gotta pull up my notes. I should do that. So hold on. But the door first. Oh well, a window. No, jeez. And then door. Like so somebody comes through the door, through the window. Um, That's the Kool Aid Man. We're all very surprised. Yeah, it's the Kool Aid. Oh, there it Start is. Start handing out fruit pies. Um, no, it's uh, Paragon. I realize now that I really screwed up one of their names in typing it. Oh, good news. We can't see. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, it, it, it's quite literally, uh, yeah, it's, uh, Paragon. Um, so Cascade, Nightwolf, which you guys actually recognize Nightwolf yeah. as Shadow's partner. Um, back in the day, Eagle, Tome, and the addition that nobody actually knows about, uh, Atlanta, all come bursting into the apartment, um, because technically, and the move works perfectly for this, because Anna called them, and then you rolled 10 plus, and so they show up to help, because <laughs> that's... <laughs> That's what they were called to do. Uh, and then Cascade's just like, Anna, what's going on? It, it was like, you know, like, gives gives her a big hug and is like, what, what, what's going on? What? Why are there so many people here? <laughs> oh, Anybody can speak up sister. if they want. Uh, I think... Your sister, something we saw, uh, your sister, uh, well, one, she helped us beat a giant robot, so that was pretty cool, but then we saw uh, Aegis agents uh, tase a hero, sorry, I keep blanking on the guy's name. Proto-Burner. Uh, tase Proto-Burner, and uh, we think that they might be responsible for the uh, disappearances, the recent disappearances? We know they might be. Sorry, that's Mallory mm. saying that very firmly, even though she doesn't. Um, that, that will just, damn it. And then you hear several um, squeaking tires as, and um, Nightwolf, like, looks out the window and goes, Oh, that's even worse. Um, <clears throat> Tome, we need an exit. Now. Oh. Yeah. We hit. Okay, yeah, the squeaking tire. Yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. What the hell did you bring to our doorstep? There's a reason I asked about the clothes, and Anna's uh, yeah. jacket is currently in the garbage can. I think Cliff <laughs> is just looking at his, his pack going, That's not who I was hoping it would come. I could I could just I'm there might be somebody else that shows <laughs> well, up, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah, Nightwolf just goes, Tome, we need an exit and uh Tome just like magics open yeah. the wall. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, and I uh, do a double take when I uh see Nightwolf since once again last time I saw him was the whole incident back uh, at the university where he was trying <laughs> to kill us so but I'm like uh, and then I go through the hole oh, 
Yeah. How do we know we can trust any of these people? Like, what, what the hell, you guys? And it just goes, look, my sister trusts him. And I trust my sister, so... We well, don't really have a choice right now. Yeah, I guess that's good enough for me. Donna, you better be right about this or I'm going to kill you. I'm just looking at you, I shrug, and I just step through. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've followed this far. <laughs> yeah, um... And it just goes, Atlanta, you know where to take them. I'll buy you guys time. And he, he literally just confidently walks out the door. And then yes, it, you, you've heard at least three SUVs. Oh, boy. Before I go through the portal, I'm going to take my lighter out and set the laser on fire. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um. No, it's not a portal. It's literally just like she... Tom just waved their hand. And a section of the wall just disappeared. And oh, then, like, okay. there's, like, magic steps down into the factory floor or whatever, and you can... Oh, okay, so we're still in the building. Yes, you're still in the building. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that was not what I thought, but, yeah. Me neither. Totally didn't get that, but I follow now. Okay. <clears throat> still gonna set the blazer on fire. Yeah. Good call. Um, yeah, so as you escape into the night once again, you hear gunfire, um, and what you assume is the crunch of lots of bones as it slowly stops. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, <clears throat> so for those of who, Shadow? Is really good. Is technically really good at the whole martial arts thing. Kind of got a glimpse of that in the casino. Technically, Nightwolf is the one who trained her. Oh. Okay. So. <clears throat> so yeah. Meanwhile, someone's being Batman somewhere. Yeah. Meanwhile, somebody's being Batman somewhere. Uh, you escape off into the night. Um, this time to a different part of the city. Um, to. Oh. I'm trying to think. I I was going to say something that's not, and then it sounded way too similar to Star Labs. So now I'm trying to think of something else. <laughs> um, happens. Nova Tech. Yeah. It's a warehouse for Nova Tech. It like it doesn't look like anybody's actually using it on the outside like there's not like a security guard or it doesn't look like there's forklifts around or anything and Atalanta leaves you into the building and then there's like a high tech thing and Atalanta just like to like protect the door and she opens it and uh, ushers everybody inside and now you are in Shadow's secret hideout like you walk in Shadow and all her people are there, and she does not look happy. She had no warning, and she's not wearing her mask. Um, okay. Hi. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what the hell? What are you doing here? And she's, like, glaring at Adelaide. Like, what are you doing here? You left. You don't just get to barge back in with a bunch of strangers. Um, point of order, uh, we just got saved from getting shot by a bunch of cops or something, so, uh, you know. If that counts for anything. All I was trying to do was punch a giant robot, and this is where it's got me. Yeah, sorry about that, by the way. <laughs> Wait, is this is is this all about the giant robot that destroyed the school? Yeah, that one. It's a skosh bigger than that, sugar. Yeah, that was that was the easy part of the night. I mean, to be fair, the robot used me to destroy the school, so that's and... the easy part of the night, and I got thrown into a wall really hard. <laughs> by the robot. Sorry about that. <laughs> no, by the robot. <laughs> You threw me into the robot really hard because I asked you to. There's a difference. Yeah, sure. 
All right. Guilt of Zolf. So, next to Shadow, um, he's wearing a similar, like, outfit, but his is, like, a crimson red. Uh, Stan's an older man. He's, like, early 40s. Uh, and his face is very familiar because he is the C the CEO of Novatech. So most people have seen him on the news or something. Hmm. And he just... Okay, somebody better start explaining. Okay, does the suit uh, he's wearing look familiar? I mean, it looks exactly like Shadows. Okay, except so... for the color. So... Proto Blaster showed up... Uh, right after we took down the robot and some Aegis agents or people wearing Aegis agents armor like suits uh, teased him and you think it might be connected to the other hero disappearances yeah did y'all know that a bunch of you have just kind of up and vanished lately and <sighs> nobody seems to be talking about how weird that is Should have gone and D damn it we thought that was... I thought that was the loyal of the ram. The... Yeah. Aegis is behind it? I'm pretty sure. So, at least some people within Aegis. Uh, we were... I'm just like... Okay, this has been a crazy day. I've sort of like ignoring the fact that uh, Shadow had previously... <laughs> Because she had also saved us more recently. Uh, we were working with Aegis. That school is uh, their academy. And uh, you know that uh, fight with the rockets in the park a couple weeks ago? That was us, our first mission. And they had us delivering a prisoner to one of their facilities there and when we were in there we saw a priest in the church of we saw someone associated with the church of universal light so maybe oh that's not good yeah maybe they uh infiltrated aegis and are trying to take it over and use it for whatever that explains a lot actually that explains why the the order and malficious are scrambling so hard this city's a damn powder keg and it's about to fucking blow. <clears throat> cool. If we could not go with it, that's really the outcome I'm looking for here. Uh, so, like, this is sounding an awful lot like we have to fight Aegis now. Like, I mean, um, yeah. that seems concerning. Am I the only one worried about that? Uh, no, you, that you should. Pretty bad. You should be worried about that. Think, think about this. Aegis has been arresting every villain that the hero, that any hero has taken down. Andy, so if each uh, one of those people is in the hands of the Church of Universal Light, we could all be in trouble. And they also have access to a lot of... Uh, Techno villain te technology that's been developed for by heroes and villains. I mean, I was, I except the reason I joined was they offered me a grant to develop some uh, search and rescue armor for them. So I mean, who knows? They could adapt that technology to their purpose plus whatever they've captured. I know they have some really weird stuff and some stuff from the fabricator, including that robot. I mean, okay, uh, stakes equal bad. So that's that's not great. Um, well, then, uh, do they have, like, a... Listen, I'm not great at this plan and stuff, but don't they have, like, a, a base we could go find? Or I mean, I'm, like, gesticulating to, like, the stuff in the room. and just like, you guys have got a lot of, like, cool info gizmo stuff. You're, like, superheroes. I mean... Can't we just go find these guys and, like, punch them? I mean, I'm that's punching. that's a possibility, yeah. But, I mean, Aegis is smart. They don't centralize. I mean, if you have the Shadow and... Organization in charge of taking down 
villains you don't want an office that says hey come destroy us uh, okay okay um i mean did you guys even know that that uh, that our school was an aegis uh, facility or was that news to you too um we didn't until uh you summoned glyph and sigil to your school accidentally apparently Summon. Summon's a strong word. Well, like, they passed the message on to Hex, and Hex passed it on to us. I mean, I just read a book, is really what happened. Um. <clears throat> yeah, we need to... I think our best bet might be to hope that they don't fully have control of Aegis yet and try to... <laughs> well, hoping's good, but we gotta do something about this, right? I mean, I wasn't saying that I mean, we do need to do something, but it'd be a lot easier if uh, if we aren't going against the whole system. <laughs> Especially since all I have to work with right now is this, and I pull out my tablet, which wasn't Aegis issue. It was my personal one from before. Yeah, that's, that's safe. Yeah. I mean, that's a real glass half full way to look at it but like sure okay so i mean where do we start do we do we start maybe we should go bust these guys out of brain jail or whatever i i, I don't know i'm a fan of busting people out of brain jail yeah i mean well it depends how much are you guys willing to help us and i'm talking to shadow and the older guy <clears throat> i mean if aegis is really gotten bad then we need to cut the fuse out before it, they take the city with them okay so where do we yeah, start we, uh, yeah. <laughs> where's the fuse and what kind of uh, it... I probably don't sorry <laughs> You're okay. I mean, honestly, like, if, if we need to yeah. do some table talk here to kind of establish things, like, so, because basically we've got a room full of superheroes yeah. and a room full of super kids um, and a government organization that is either, well, semi-government organization that has either yeah. gone rogue or been thoroughly infiltrated by uh, some nasty bads. Um, like, either we need to break this down into smaller issues and tackle one, or we need to find a way to uh, attack this from the top down. Uh, but... Without like a Doctor Doom sitting in a castle in Latvia somewhere, I'm not really sure where to start. Beyond my plan of like, hey, let's go break in someplace, hack up the locations of some of these superheroes, and see if we can find them, yeah. or going directly to the one um, like pseudo prison facility that we are aware of, and then just like assaulting that to see what we can find. But I am super open to ideas. Yeah, yeah I think. Prison is a place we know is, I mean, if we're assuming that, one, we know it's a prison facility near the school, so probably the most likely location for the, well, the only, the closest one we know of to the school, uh, so, and we know it was equipped to handle people with fire powers, since that's what the uh, prisoner we had. Well, uh, sure. The point is that there might be something to learn there. Yeah, so I'm saying that they might have taken Proto Blaster there too. Mm. Might have taken Proto Blaster there too. That's and we point. know that that's associated and we know they that there was someone from the Church of Universal Light there, so yeah. I'm thinking that's the place to start. It's just what what resources we have to Whole mess of superpowers. Yeah. Grit. Two six sided <laughs> dice. Yeah. <laughs> so at this point um the door he came through uh opens up and night wolf walks in and he's got one guy over his shoulder and he he's like kind of heard what you're talking about look this is in a war we're gonna win in one day but and he like just drops the guy on the ground <laughs> Um, getting information from him is probably going to be a good start. And Shadow is pissed. Did you check him for trackers? We know they 
Yeah, good I, I did. Recording devices. <clears throat> I don't. Yeah, don't worry. I did. Yeah, uh, yeah, kid. I got this. <laughs> yeah. Um, Shadow's pissed, and she just looks at Atlanta. That's where you went. That's where you went with him. And she goes, "Look, if if you need a place to hide, you're welcome to stay here." We'll regroup tomorrow, I guess. And she just walks out of the room. Awkward. <laughs> Extremely awkward. Yeah. Seems like nobody knows what to do. Grown-ups are intense. <laughs> Shadow's not a grown-up, and Nightwolf's, like, barely. Like... At okay. best, he's like 18. You know, he's not much older than you. He's about the same okay. age as Shadow and Atalanta and stuff. So, uh, does... Do you have any... Did he have any equipment with him that we can... Uh, look... That I can take a look at? Um, equipment? No. I dumped all his equipment so it couldn't be tracked. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, that was probably good call but i'm a lot better at dealing t with getting information out of technology than people that's what i was thinking there's a move for this yeah. <laughs> oh i mean <laughs> well hey is it conscious like i got the impression that since he was like slung over somebody's shoulder and dumped on the floor like is this dude like i mean he can be waking woken up smelling salts there's yeah. probably a first aid kit somewhere. Oh, jeez Louise. I mean, I, I was kind of looking around. I was like, wait, are we just going to, like, torture this guy? Like, what's going on here? I mean, that would not be my face. first uh, preference. It's just a few fingers. It's fine. Definitely not that far. I mean, you're speaking out of character, you're more than welcome to. Like, please have at it. <laughs> yeah, I'm speaking in character. Uh... Uh, Valerie does not really have a taste for that, uh, given her background. Yeah. I mean, Kat doesn't either, but she will happily threaten it. Yeah. <laughs> About Cliff, do you uh, do you have any experience trying to uh, interrogate, uh, trying to get information out of prisoners? Is your... You can we wake, can him, wake up. him up. Sure, I can try something. Just uh, let me know if uh, I get seen. So seen? I wake him up, I grab him, and I immediately fly up as high as I can with him. Okay. That was not oh. what I expected. There so he goes. You're, oh, you're inside, so you can go about two stories high yeah. to, like, the roof. Um, and then to ask him questions, roll plus mundane. And for holding him in the air, I'll give you a plus two. <laughs> Swear to me! <laughs> there we go. A nine. Okay, so on a nine, you get to ask one question. Well, that is a big difference. Ask three to ask what. Um, yep. So you well, can. I mean, we could assist. Is this a oh, piercing? Yeah. That's right, yeah. So, hmm. Well, okay. I mean, we've got. I mean, Dreamcat's very threatening. And you're. What are you doing up there to this guy? Like, wake him up. Um, let's see. Yeah, so you say I could fly up like two stories? Yeah. Um, Not a low. The, like, the jerk of you just grabbing him it might wake him up. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I just like, figured I'd, okay. I figured like, I'd, I'd actually wake him up before I actually start flying up. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's probably a first aid kit somewhere you can just grab, like, some smelling salts and... Mm -hmm. I mean, Dreamcat, is there anything you could do to, like, freak this guy out some more, or... or... Just gonna, like, yell up, kick his ass, Cliff! Yeah, that works <laughs> for me. Take the plus one. <laughs> So what I actually do is I drop him, fly down, grab him, and bring him back up. And I say, next oh. time I won't catch you. What? I was going to say, actually, what if it was uh, Dreamcat who caught him? 
and then mm. tossed him back up. And then, and then threw it totally. And then totally yeah. threw you know it. <laughs> I, I love, love it. That. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you get to ask th- you three questions. Um, you can ask, what are you planning? Or what are you really planning? Yep. That what one. do you want me to do? What do you intend to do? That one. Uh, how could I get your character to blank? And how could some of these are meant for your teammates? Right, well, but um, just... how could I gain influence over you? But uh, what are you planning? What do you intend to do? And how could I get your character to show us the way? Okay. Um. <clears throat> So he looks at you and he's like, <laughs> you're so far in over your head. You're just a small pawn on a chessboard. The he- We've already got several heroes, which means it's already over. Gonna <clears throat> we're going to take over the city and we're going to lock all these freaks where they belong so we can return things to normal. You know, you're better off hitting the ground than letting her catch you. She's kind of... Her telekinesis is kind of rough. Just wink at... (laughs) Wink Um, at Mal to indicate I'm joking. (laughs) Yeah, and I'm like stone-faced right now for that guy called us freaks. (laughs) Um, So, he doesn't actually tell you this, but... Um, I'm telling you, he intends to try to escape. That's fine. And I just you... like notice that he's like clearly eyeing, like looking around for exits or something. You would more or less you'd have to you'd have to give him a better offer to get him to show you the way to you know a prison, whatever it is, if you want to break into. A person, whatever. You'd have to make him a really good offer. God, break his fingers. I like that offer. Can you do like your... Uh, now I'm speaking more quietly so he can't. So he's less likely to hear him. So I'm, I'm still inside, technically? Or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're up there holding this dude. Is, is Anna here? Yeah. Like, hey, Anna, have you heard of waterboarding? Whoa. Yeah. Cliff. Yes. I... Anna, no. Anna? I was like, this is obviously war. You must. Cliff. Mal, what about your memory trick? Can you get memories out or just uh, adjust them? I mean, out of character. It's called memory manipulation. Uh, what that entails, I guess, is kind of up to the GM. Uh, in character, uh, I've never tried. I honestly, I don't really like going inside people's brains. It's um hard, let's say. So I would say that memory manipulation, you would have to steal his memories. You'd have to take them from him, and have them in your own head. Yeah, um, speaking out of character again, too, one of the big reasons that Mallory super hates doing this is because, um, like, since she's got this connection to Ares, she doesn't like extending that into other people, because she's terrified it'll jump ship or do whatever with them, so, um... uh... Um, Also, as the GM, Anna's not gonna... Anna's way too nice to waterboarding. Yeah, however... She's playing along, it sounds her, like. Her sister, Cascade, would mm. definitely do it. Jesus. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Cascade have, is my rival. Have a, I do have one question. Um, can I use going into... I must be in military, or this is war. I must be in war mindset. I use that to clear my insecure condition. Yeah, uh, yes. So at that point, I'm like, oh, good, war. I know what to do in war. We take foolhardy action without talking to your team. You did just, like, lift this guy up in the air and then drop him, which you didn't <laughs> consult anybody with. So thank <laughs> goodness Dream Cat was down there. And then, and then, and then threatened to the waterboard him. Yeah. 
Oh, which is pretty you, intense. Yeah, there was enough there that yeah, you clear yep. insecure. Uh, asking, uh, asking Anna to waterboard is kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> yes! The fact that you specifically asked Anna, not Cascade, especially. <laughs> and the reason it's foolhardy is because Mallory will kill you if you try to make her. Um, there's no way. Um, no, Anna, you're, oh, God, absolutely under no circumstances. Um, ugh, fine, fine, I'll, I'll bring him down here. All right, I'll drop him. Patch him and then sit on his chest. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Um, None of us want to do this. I take my sunglasses off, and uh, I really, really don't want to screw this up. So I'm actually going to roll uh, burn first to try and like power up. So the sunglasses come off, and my eyes start doing the... Like first it's a dim glow, then it's a super bright one. I'm gonna roll plus conditions, and hopefully I can charge up good. Seven. Okay, so on a, a seven to nine, mark a condition. Okay, and then hold free burn. Awesome. So note to self, I have free burn for this scene. I need to mark a condition. I don't know if I'm insecure or if, I'm afraid because I'm scared of what's gonna happen. Uh, and then I'm going to spend two of those burn to use overcharge to unleash my powers and uh, and take ten on it. So now I have one burn. Jeez. Yeah, that's that's the cool thing. It's it's a kind of. You know. So yeah. So. <laughs> so yeah. Um, oh, that's right. Saying... You you automatically do it, don't you? Yeah, that's what overcharge does. Yeah, you uh, spend two burn to take uh, ten plus when you unleash your powers. So the I Nova's, could roll plus, but the Nova is so overpowered. I mean, it fits, but the Nova is so overpowered. yeah. Well, that's it, kind of the gimmick. Yeah, it's the whole thing. Um, yeah. So yeah, I uh, I I kind of I kind of like I look down at this dude, and I'm sure he's terrified because now there's this like weird little skinny 15 year old with black and white hair that's leaning over him with like searing red eyes and just kind of like. Sorry, mister! And then I kind of, again, I do the thing where I put my, my hand uh, kind of palming over his eyes. And, uh, yeah, I go digging around looking to pull out um, memories of something useful uh, that we can use to get to get access to something. Yeah, actually, yeah, what exactly are we looking for out of this guy that I can go digging around for? Anybody? Um, it was your idea, I mean. Where to... Where do we start? Like, where where should we? What's the main building we should be looking for? Like, well, maybe not the main one, but uh, one that would be easier for us to access potentially. Okay. To get... So, <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm trying to pull out. You pull out a memory of um, Aegis location. It's not like a safe house or anything. It it's um. It's like a CA stash house type thing, you know, like it's it's covered like probably says it's a butcher shop or something. Yeah, like a front. Yeah, it's a front. There, that's the word that I was trying to think of. Thank you. You're very uh, welcome. Yeah, it's a front, and um, you you know, in the memory, you get all of his codes to like get through doors. Wow. You know exactly where to go and and stuff. Um, once he, like, once he goes through it, like, opens up into, there's, like, a server room, and there's, there, there's a bunch of rather important stuff. But there's also okay. a lot of agents. And some of them are special ops types, like this guy. Oh, okay. Interesting. Alright, so I'm kind of... I'm doing my thing and I'm looking like super intense and uh, just kind of like my eyes like just like staring off into the middle distance like through this guy and then once I've pulled all that stuff out of there it's just like Phew. I okay. think I found what we're looking for and then I share that with the group I'm sorry I know that was not something you wanted to do but it seemed like 
The only way we're going to make progress with him. Yeah, whatever. And I kind of go off on my own. <laughs> just to the, like, to like the other side of the room or whatever, just to kind of hold the wall up for a minute. Kat's going to take her jacket and put it over Mallory's shoulders. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mallory just, like, honestly, she just kind of, like, pulls it in a little bit. But doesn't say anything. Yes, Kat does it. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, go ahead, you guys, your guys' interaction was already, you were continuing an existing thing, not starting a new thing, so. Yeah, I was just gonna say, the cat also just doesn't say a word about it, just does it and walks away. <laughs> oh, Cliff walks over. Yeah. Pats Mallory on the shoulder and says, Buck up, soldier. We do what we gotta do. She shoots him a death fucking glare. Just give her some time, dude. Okay, so question now is do we go now or do we lie low for a bit and give things time and maybe and hope things settle down a bit before we before we uh, go there? No, Night I'm Wolf would, you guys. <laughs> yeah, Nightwolf would actually pop up for that and just be like, you know, we should <clears throat> get some rest tonight. Lay low. We have, things are really hot tonight. So, you know, we're all tired. We've all been fighting things. We should get, get some rest. This isn't something we should do without a plan. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're definitely right about that. I was just... I mean, if they know this guy's gone, they might change the... Um, I mean, you're the expert on the this kind of stuff, but could they change codes and anything if they think... <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I'm the cat playbook. <laughs> I'm the most OP of them all. Yeah, I mean, you just... Yeah, seems like our best, I mean... Yeah, I... You just will wait a whole 48 hours before changing any codes, it's... Yeah, I suppose we'd know standard operating procedures and that kind yeah. of stuff, so... Yeah, we probably need to... I can see if I can uh, scrounge anything up that I can use to... That I can use to help. I mean, obviously, I can get into the computers once we're there, but... And they said that there was, like, a place upstairs or something where we could rest? Yep, yeah, yeah there's, uh, there's, like, some makeshift rooms and bunks that you can rest in. Alright. Uh, yeah. I, I just kind of, like, half to the room, half to myself. Somebody should probably take care of that guy. And then I, I make my way upstairs. Um, yeah, one of one of Par one of the members of Paragon will take care of him. Whatever that means to them, you don't know, but they they do it. Um, poor guy's head is Swiss cheese now. Uh, yeah, um, that is where we'll end tonight. So we have some end of session stuff. We do. Who wants to go first? Um, I can start. I got no problem with that. Oh, Nemesis, did I make any progress on defeating you? No. <laughs> Super didn't. So, gonna mark my doom track. Boop. Uh, and then... Uh, the big three questions. Did you grow closer? Did you go further? Did you grow into your own image of yourself? Um... Jeez. I'm honestly kind of torn on this one. Like, I don't know. I don't feel like I grew closer to the team. It's a rough one. Yeah, but at the same time, we're all, we're like, we're all under threat, which in a way kind of pushes us together, but at the same time... Mallory's not stoked about how any of this is going, and isn't really feeling especially trustworthy towards anyone at this point. Um, well, one option is since I suggested using a power in a way you were uncomfortable with, grow yeah. me, move. Yeah. 
um, yeah, it's it's weird because like you pushed me towards that, and at the same time, I'm like also not really stoked that Cliff kind of engineered that scenario and did what he like dared to be like, hey, like little kid, just become water so we can you know drown this guy. Um, like honestly, I feel like that almost is more upsetting to her because uh, she's not down with torture. She's mm -hmm. she's seen the other side of that. Uh, so I'm gonna say I grew away from the team and. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull Cliff's influence over me. I think. And it's me. Okay. Um. Wainwright. Well, I'd say for my uh, individual. Uh, one with my shame i definitely especially since i pocketed those uh memory cards i definitely uh took steps towards making amends for my shame so mark potential for that and then for the yeah <laughs> yeah the other one's kind of tricky considering how massive of a change yeah, some shit went down. Yeah. It's kind of... I mean, I'd say grow into my own image of myself, but at the same time, I'm trying to figure out what it would make sense to shift for that. Well, I mean... Yeah. You think about like kind of where his headspace was at and what he was doing yeah. this this session. I mean, yeah, it was a lot of rationalizing and uh, yeah, like Just not having seen this stuff coming. I'm definitely thinking shifting superior down. I'm <laughs> even though that's uh, then mundane up, I guess. Yeah, I think that feels good. Yeah. Kind of got the wool pull over our eyes, so he's sort of yeah. sitting in a situation of like, how did I not notice this? How did I not see it? Yeah, well, and I suppose the angry and insecure conditions I have also sort of work with yeah. that. So. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it for me. Okay. Um, Agent Johnson. Right. So I am going to grow into my own image of myself. That makes sense for you. As far as I'm concerned right now, we are at war. And war is what I know how to do. Oh, buddy. Oh, no. So I shift up my superior. I shift down my mundane. And... This is something that the nomad can do. I take influence away from graves. Oh, jeez. Because it's obvious to me that she is not willing to do. Oh wait, work. I already did. No, you, you were the one that I. I gave. It, I had. You had influence over me. You yeah. took influence away from him. He's taking influence away from you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. That's something. That's something I can do at the end of a session. So, because it's pretty it seems so you no longer have influence over me is what you're saying no i'm saying you don't have influence over me did you oh i totally misunderstood something okay never mind uh, yeah you okay, took your inf you took influence yep. over you away yep, yep, yep. from him he took um, influence sorry. over him away from you which is what i did on my character sheet like a dumb dumb <laughs> but no i don't have to do anything so thank you sorry about that continue my my bad right because it seems like you very hesitant to do what needs to be done during war. She absolutely is. Not everybody is a soldier. So, no. <laughs> since um, you might be joining us, Dreamcat, for a few episodes, we will take a look here. I don't know if I have the right sheet up. So, <clears throat> Do you think you grew closer to this team? 
grew away from this team or grew into your own image? I think I grew closer to this team. Um, largely after seeing Graves doing something she that, that obviously was kind of traumatizing for her. And just kind of recognizing a lot of my own struggles in that. Okay. And kind of being proud of her for going through the trauma and doing it anyway. Yay, okay, so... Feels. Uh, so... Graves now has influence over you? Eat. And you get to cl either clear condition or mark potential. I'm going to clear... I'm going to clear angry. Because, you know, that whole situation kind of put things in perspective. Okay. Certainly that follows, considering the last big thing you did was like a really genuine act of kindness. Yeah. Is that usually something angry people do, so that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, reverse order, sign out. So uh, we'll start with Dreamcat. Uh, hi, I am Michi. I am at Michisaurus on the Twitters. Uh, you can find me here on Welcome to the Party. I will be here Wednesday uh, playing Promethean. I'm here every first and third Tuesday running our Eclipse Phase 2nd Edition campaign. And I'm here every other Thursday playing Pokemon. Which is terrible. <laughs> it's a good kind of terrible. It's a fun kind of terrible. Ah, uh, better. Okay, yeah. <laughs> especially, especially when you're the sweet, naive one. So, and so I guess I will possibly naive. be here for a few Mondays. Yes. Uh, Agent Johnson. Yes. Um. Well, I'm Wild Engineer. Um. At Wild Engineer on Twitter. Uh. So you. Obviously, you can find me here on Wednesday, or on Mondays. Um, also, doing a Call of Cthulhu campaign on Scrat Scraticus's channel Monday mornings um, is at 4 p.m. Eastern. Wait, no, 1 Eastern. Maybe not more. My mornings, not your mornings. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> okay, uh, Wainwright. I'm Adam. You can find me on Twitter at Starsaber underscore two two two. Anything else? And yep, that's it. Okay, um Fox. Hey everybody, I am yet still Fox Barrett. You can find me on Twitter at Fox underscore Barrett, where I uh, retweet games I'm going to be in. I think it's the last thing I did there. Uh like this one, where you can find me every Monday night. Um, trying desperately to uh, hold streams together that want to fall apart uh, and being uh, having a lot of teenage feelings. I don't have anything uh, in the near future, still working on that, but I believe currently scheduled for like May 5th ish is when we're talking. Uh, there is a fantasy, ga a fantasy age game that I'm getting into um, with a bunch of other cool folks that uh, we're still hashing out some details on, uh, but it sounds super cool. Um, I think there's even still one slot left open if you check the Discord uh, Open Games uh, channel. So check that out. Uh, but that is me for the moment. All right. Hi, I am Nerdy Teddy. You can find me on Twitter at Nerdy Teddy. You can, of course, find me here Monday nights uh, running this game and finally getting to do things that I hinted at in session one. <laughs> I've just been waiting and I wasn't sure I was going to do that and then I so that I rolled the dice just to see do they take their chance to take down for no burner do they wait? And so that was fun. Um, Sorry, Proto Burner. 
Should have taken the card. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this Wednesday, I will be running Promethean. That should be interesting. <laughs> you got this. It's going to be great. You um, got this. I mean, I hope you don't die. <laughs> it's a one shot. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> there is that. Yeah. And, and uh, Thursdays, I split my time between Shadowrun and Pokemon. Which I, I don't know what you mean. It's terrible. We do great things in that. We're. we're... <laughs> Alright, we're getting raid. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> unqualified Adventure Force. And we do have a raid command now. So oh, yeah, make sure. <laughs> make sure you follow that. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.